Welcome to the F1 Deluge Valve Electric Release Simulation Scenario. We are going to cover what happens when a fire starts in a propane tank farm that is protected by F1 Deluge Valve equipped with an electric release and what each component of the system does to ensure the fire becomes controlled as quickly as possible. The model F1 Deluge Valve is a quick opening differential diaphragm flood valve with one moving mechanism. The valve is held closed by system water pressure trapped in the priming chamber, keeping the outlet chamber and system piping empty. During a fire, when the releasing system operates, pressure is released from the priming chamber. The deluge valve clapper opens to allow water to flow into the system piping. The prime line directs water to the prime chamber of the deluge valve. The prime line consists of an open priming ball valve, a Y strainer, a restricted orifice, and a check valve. The Y strainer keeps debris from entering the restricted orifice. The restricted orifice reduces the rate at which water can enter the prime chamber, ensuring that prime water will drain faster than it could be supplied. The check valve only permits water to enter the priming chamber, allowing prime chamber pressure to be maintained. Following the trim off the prime chamber is the pressure operator relief valve, or PORV. The PORV is a device that ensures the valve remains in an open state while water is flowing through the valve. When water is directed to the sensing side of the PORV, the push rod is forced open. Priming water is then directed to the open drain, preventing the priming chamber from repressurizing. The normally closed electric solenoid valve is part of the prime line. While closed, the solenoid valve keeps water pressure in the prime chamber. When activated open, it releases water pressure from the prime chamber. Our electric detection device in this scenario is the Viking VSF-303, an explosion-proof multi-spectrum IR3 flame detector. It uses the latest infrared flame detection algorithms to detect hydrocarbon fires that are not in the visible spectrum and to ensure maximum false alarm immunity. In a scenario where a fire has started on or near the storage tank, the VSF-303 flame detector recognizes the fire and sends a signal to the VFR-500 release control panel. Once the signal is received, the VFR-500 sends 24 volts of electricity to the normally closed electric solenoid valve and powers it open, releasing water pressure from within the priming chamber of the deluge valve. Once water pressure is released from the priming chamber, the clapper is forced open by the supply water pressure from the inlet chamber, filling the valve body and connected trim with water. The PORV is activated when water from the outlet chamber forces the push rod open, redirecting prime water out into the drain cup. Simultaneously, water will also fill the trim leading to the water flow alarm, causing it to activate, alerting the VFR 500 release control panel. Water continues to flow through the valve and deluge system piping to the discharge devices. The valve continues to supply water to the system until it is shut down.